hello guys welcome to coding cafe in today's tutorials we will go much further so let's start first uh, set and error just change this curly bracket to i mean this one and remove this curly bracket from here and change it like this okay and user id not user id it's user password okay okay so sorry for this so now we will create our login and sign up pages to login on user to our chat app so let's start so let's first create our sign up forum okay so we will name this as sign up dot php okay sign up dot php so let's start with the html and we will have a title of welcome to my chat app okay and in our body we will have an, an div okay this div will have an id of sign up div okay and in this div we will have our forum okay and in forum we will have an id of forum 2 i think and method will be post and uh, action will be on action will be on insert users.php i think insert user.php we will create this page after the sign up form so let's have an h2 tag and we will just say that sign up forum okay and then we will create a table in this table we will have a tr in this tr we have a td and we will just say that input type will be text and name will be username and place holder will be enter your name okay and we will say it is required okay <coughs> so we will just copy this and paste it two times one and two and we will change this to email okay and uh, name will be user mail and we will say that enter your email okay and this one will be password name will be user password and enter your password okay so now let's create our sign up button so we will have a tr td okay after this td we will have an input type will be submit and then it will have a value and value will be sign up okay and where you will be sign up so let's just check this page this page so guys here it is our sign up form you will have our name email password so let's just code in our sign up form so let's create our new page and we will name it as insert user insert user.php and just save it our insert user.php will just give a space over here 
it's more easy so we will just save this here's our use insert user dot php page okay and just give us space over here and save it so in this way we will insert our user into database so we will say php and we will just close that and just include our classes dot php page include classes.php okay and just close that and we will just create a new variable and name it user and it will be equals to i user class that class we create this class in the our classes.php page look over here user okay so let's start we will say if I set dollar underscore post <coughs> username and then just remove that and uh, we just we will just copy this okay and just paste it your username after the username you will have our user mail and after this we will have our user password okay so red and curly messages and we just will say that users will be equal set we will now just set our user name so we will just say post and then our user name okay and just close this just copy this and paste it two times and change this one to user mail and that one also to user mail and the last one will be user password okay And now we will just insert our function which we created in our classes.php and it will have insert user dot insert user function. And we just use it over here. Okay, so this is it for this page. One more thing, just put that SHA one this uh, uh, code just used for security of our password it is just an secure algorithm to save our password okay so save go to our sign up page and after this tag we will just we will just open a php tag okay In this tag we will just say that if I set okay if I set will be success success then open up curly bracket and just close it down here okay and the middle of it we will just create another tr okay and this tr we will create a span tag that user has just insert successfully so you will just create that td so you just say span and we will have a style 
just color it and the color will be green and we will say user insert it ed inserted okay let's use our get function i mean get tag we'll just say that get and then we will type this okay okay guys like this we will get an error so now guys just create our uh, a page for to log in our users okay so create a page and we will name this as index.php okay index.php so let's start so first open up html html text and we will name that title will be welcome to my chat app or anything you want just give it in a title and then we will create our div in our body tag and we will name this id will be id of this div will be login div okay login div in this login div we will have our forum okay uh, forum will have an id and id will be forum1 and method will be post and action will be on action will be on uh, user login dot php you will get this page after creating this login page user login dot php so now just open up an h2 tag and we will just say that login for okay and now we will create our table okay and in the table we will our first tr and this tr we will have our tt and we will just say that input type will be equals to email and name will be uh, user mail login uh, this one should be capital user mail login okay and placeholder will be enter your email enter your email so let's just copy this and paste it down here and we will just change this to password password and we will just change the name of it to user password login user password login ok and placeholder will be enter your password ok any board should be required this one also will be required ok oh. so now we will get our submit button ok uh, one minute it should be tr in this tr we will have our tt and we will just say input type will be submit and we will have value instead of name we will have value of no value will be login okay so let's check this page in our browser so here it is our login forum okay so now just give out a link cover here after the user just sign up so we will just send them to our login page to log in to your account so you will just say that header okay and this header we will just location location will be 
index.php okay index.php and success will be equals to 1 okay and just close this and save it so now guys we will check the, we will create an account okay to check if it's work or not so we will just say that we will have a name lucas and email will be lucas at gmail.com and password will be password and then after password you just get sign up look it's just directly came to our login form and if we, if we just check in our database so it is that lucas and sha1 that that is used for like this our password is just secured so this is it for this tutorial guys we will meet in the next video thanks for watching